Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is How Thick is the Dome Firmament? Those who know that the Earth's sky is covered by a dome firmament call it by other names. To Jews and Christians, it's the firmament. For modern flat earthers, it's the dome. For militaries, it's the barrier. For physicists, it's the Earth's container. For CIA and other intelligence agency, CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, it's the firmament. For flat earthers who are also biologists, it's the earth's membrane. For simulationists, it's the construct. For the Anun Anunnaki, it, it was the shield. Then there are multi-billions of humans that don't even know that it's real. The humans that that humans have never left this earth or gone over 90 miles above earth and cannot. What you think and feel as a ball earther matters not because you're dealing in religion. Flat earthers are 100% experimenters and testers and that's the only thing we know and the only way we can get the, get the facts and the only thing we do. Flat earthers are some of the greatest researchers on earth. Ball earthers, by contrast, virtually never research, experiment, or test their nonsense. Just parrots never reaching for truth. Have, having a low level of mental integrity, using every unethical, immoral, corrupt means to continue in making this world a very poor place to live. This video is about how thick is the dome firmament. I found one reference to the dome's thickness in scripture. I have no instrument, personally, to measure it, but there are those who do. But they will never, never tell you or the human race, never. This is the reference I speak of, along with the range of how hot the dome container membrane is at specific areas. Please hold on. I am going to move the camera. Now, let's continue. This pinkish red part is the earth. This yellowish part, right above the, the pinkish part, right above it, all the way across, is the Mark Sargent primary dome. Right here is the first Antarctica, and within it is where we live. Within the first Antarctic belt ring, the second Antarctic belt ring, the third Antarctic belt ring. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here and right here are the dome, dome partitions. Our dome partition starts at the 90th degree parallel of the first Antarctic ring. Right here is the United States of America, right up in here, USA. This vertical line right here, the central north pole is where we are, and the central south pole is on the other side of the earth. And from the central north pole to the 90th degree parallel is 12,450 miles. And the, and the, uh, the Mark Sargent primary dome, where we live over the central earth, starts at 13,000 to 15,000 feet before it starts to curve over, curve over, and it, then it goes up higher to 20 miles, 40 miles, 50 miles, 60 miles, 73 miles, right above the United States, approximately 73 miles when you get above the United States and so forth, and when it reaches the, uh, the, the uh, central North Pole, it's approximately 80 miles above, 80 miles high. Now, let's continue, please. Now, this is the dome, the radius of the dome is 12,450 miles over the central earth. Right here is in miles. Right here is the thickness compared to the radius of the dome as a fraction thereof. If the, if, 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 if the dome were 500 miles thick, it would be 124th of this 12,450. If it were 100 miles thick, it would be 1. 124th. That, that's a fraction, of course. And if it were 50 miles thick, it would be 1 248th. If it were 20 miles thick, it would be 1 622nd. If it were 10 miles thick, it would be 1 1242nd of as thick as the radius. If it were 5 miles thick, it would be 1 
uh, 2490th of the radius of thickness. Uh, and if it were one mile, it would be one 12,450 uh, 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 50th of the thickness. And if it were six inches, six inches, it would be one. 13,147,200th of the thickness, and if it were three inches, it would be one 26,294,400th of the thickness of, uh, of, the, of the dome's radius. Now, let's continue, please. Now, this here is from the other Bible. This is the name of that book. The other Bible. It is the scriptures. The, 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 the books not put in. The regular Bible that everybody reads. Now, this, this one was uh, copyrighted 2005. The editor is Willis Barnstone. This is compositions of more ancient materials. From materials extending back to 5800 BC and further. The, the other Bible was, was uh, the other Bible. Uh, it will it will is is re, is read from from page eighteen of the Haggadah. The Haggadah is uh, was written in approximately three hundred to three hundred fifty A.D. It composes many ancient materials. We will read an excerpt from it. The second day, on the second day, God brought forth brought forth four creations: the firmament, hell fire and angels. The firmament is not the same as the heavens of the first day. It is the crystal stretched forth over the heads of the Hayat from which they derive their light. Just as the earth derives its light from the sun, this firmament saves the earth from being engulfed by the waters of the heavens. It forms the partition between the waters above and the waters below. It was made to crystallize into the solid it is by heavenly fire, which broke its bounds and condensed the surface of the firmament. Thus, fire made a division a division between the celestial and the terrestrial at the time of creation, as it did at the revelation, right within this, this block, right within this box. The firmament is not more than three fingers thick. Nevertheless, it divides two such heavy bodies as the waters below and the waters above. N not much more than three fingers thick. I had a time with uh, <laughs> dealing with three fingers thick. Okay, this is an this is a more concise version of what I just read for the second day. The firmament is not the same as the heavens. The firmament is the crystal structure stretched over the total span of the earth from which heaven derives its light. The firmament saves the earth from anything trying to leave from within and anything from entering from the outside. It was made to crystallize into the solid it is by exceedingly intense heat, which broke its bounds and condensed the surface of the firmament. The firmament is not much more than three fingers thick or about six inches thick. Now, that's not very that's not very thick at all. This here is a document from the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, who knows that the firmament has ha existed some 60 in, before 1960, but they never told the human race, never. But this this document was approved for release in June 9th of 2000. And this is uh, identifying numbers for for that document. The author is Bork and a, a guy named Kasak Kovoki, TM or whatever, the title of this document is Photographic Observations of the Spectral Intensity of the Firmament, in yellow here, of the firmament. Here's other identifying material for the periodical form, for the periodical 1961-1960. This is an English summary. This is an excerpt. This is not the whole document, only an excerpt. Now, let's continue. Here is the text. Now, from the sky for fixed wavelengths was calculated from measurement results. The author 
presents graphs of spectral brightness of the sky and discusses the peculiarities of the state of the atmosphere that characterize the time and sight of observations. The color, color, the color temperature of the firmament in yellow, of the firmament amounts to 6,400 degrees to 1,750 degrees Kelvin, which is equal to 11,060.33 degrees Fahrenheit to 2,690.33 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a complete translation into English by T. Golikov. I guess that's German or, or, or Russian or something like that. This is card two of two. Now, to find, to have more info, get more information on it, write into Google, go online to Google, and write Kaleb, K A L E B dot F E, TikTok, into Google. Go to video titled CIA Admits Firmament Exists. For all of my videos, write Jesse, J E S S I E, Jesse Johnson's Flat Earth into YouTube. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching. Please subscribe and share this video. Have a very good day.